Fritz cookies are a classic German butter cookie. It is really delicious. And today I'm making it gluten-free. These cookies are soft on the inside with a delicate crunch on the outside. Take a bite of these soft buttery cookies and they melt in your mouth with just the right amount of sweetness. These are perfect for the holidays or anytime really. They're very festive and no one will be able to tell that they are gluten-free because they are so delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. Okay, here's our chef joke. What do you call a metric cookie? A graham cracker. <laughs> to make spritz cookies, you will need a cookie press like the one I have right here, and you'll need a couple of cookie sheets. It's nice to have two cookie sheets as you will be cooking one at a time. This will give one cookie sheet time to cool off completely as you need to press the cookies onto a cold, ungreased cookie sheet. And don't use parchment paper either as the pressed cookies won't stick to it. In a medium bowl, we're going to combine our dry ingredients. Now I'm using Trader Joe's blanched almond flour and this is an extra fine ground so that it's nice and light. To that, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, which is gluten-free. One teaspoon of baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of salt. And give that a good stir and we'll set it aside. I'm gonna use my KitchenAid mixer, but any hand mixer will work too. All right, to that we're gonna add seven tablespoons of softened butter and a half a cup which is slightly heaping of sugar. And we're gonna mix that until it's light and fluffy. And scrape down the sides of the bowl to get a good mix. Once this is nice and fluffy, we're gonna add an egg and some almond extract. Mix this on medium until it's well combined. Now we're ready to add the flour mixture, and I'm only gonna add a half of it at a time until it's just combined. Then I like to take a spoon and scrape down the bowl and to bring it all together. Because the dough is quite sticky, I'm gonna pour it out onto some plastic wrap, and then we're gonna wrap it up and place it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After 20 minutes, Pull the dough out and unwrap it so that you can cut off a piece big enough to fill the cookie press. I find it easier to wrap the piece back in plastic to roll it out so it's slightly smaller than the cookie press cylinder. Don't forget to place the unused portion back in the refrigerator to keep it chilled. Fill the cookie press with dough and attach your favorite disc to the lid. You're gonna crank the handle to push the dough down to the press and once it starts to come out of the end, you know you're ready to start pressing cookies. Place the cookie press onto the cookie sheet and crank it one time and then slowly lift off the press. Your dough should stick to the baking sheet in the shape of a cute cookie. You can change discs at any time for different shaped cookies. You can decorate the cookies any way you like for a more festive look also. You can decorate with sprinkles, chocolate chips, whatever you like. I found that if I place sprinkles on top before baking, they stick better than trying to place them after the cookies are done. And I also press them with my finger into the cookie dough just a little bit to help them stick. Place the cookies into a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for somewhere between seven and eight minutes depending on your oven. Keep an eye on them so they don't burn. What you're looking for is some golden brown near the bottom of the cookie. Take these out and let them sit for five minutes before removing them from the pan to a cooling rack. Check out how nice and golden brown these are. These are so delicious with their delicate crunch on the outside and they're soft and chewy on the inside. You're gonna love the flavors. With that almond extract, it's really good. These are best warm right out of the oven, but I think they'll last up to about three days. If you're looking for more festive cookies, you might want to try my chocolate crinkle cookies. They have a delicious peppermint flavor. Click the link on the screen to see that video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.